what the concept of anti-racism uh, is about is really about trying to proactively fight against racism in your everyday life, whether it be looking at policies or um, looking at uh, how funds are spent, for example, in your community, looking at incarceration rates, anything that you might encounter uh, where you can directly address um, how racism is impacting people's experiences differently. I think what's unfortunate is that a lot of our K through 12 institutions really don't have an infrastructure to talk about these really difficult issues. And I think um, a university as a space where you have the humanities and the social sciences and the STEM sciences all having conversations about these different issues becomes like this ideal space. But also for a modern democratic um, institution to thrive, I think we have to be aware that that you know, who we are as a country, who we are as an institution is drastically changing. That most of the students, probably as soon as last year, um, who are entering um, universities are um, historically underrepresented minorities or, or students who identify as non-white. How do we create a, a more inclusive and inviting space where we're not afraid to have these conversations that are you know, sometimes difficult, but are required, um, especially if we're training people to be the next leaders and you know the the vanguard of um, social change as we know it. And I think that's what's special and wonderful about academic institutions, and especially University of Pittsburgh. The Anti-Black Racism course is entitled Anti-Black Racism, History, Ideology, and Resistance. And uh, this course really emerged from students um, asking for, Black students in particular, advocating for there to be a course like this, to really talk about the impact of anti-Black racism and by extension, systemic racism um, and how it impacts people's lives in this country. And then of course, this was um, really came to a fore based on uh, the, the killing of George Floyd, of Breonna Taylor, of Ahmaud Arbery, and so many others, Antoine Rose right here in Pittsburgh. I mean, there's so many different examples. And so students were pushing for more accountability on the in, in, for our university in terms of how it deals with these issues. And so this course was definitely a response to that. I think in having an interdisciplinary course that captures the lived experience of Black Americans and particularly interrogating anti-Black racism to sort of situate it in this particular historical moment, I think that was important to say that there wasn't just one perspective that was being presented. So everything from, you know, Black feminist thought to critical race um, theory to intersectionality, it was extremely important for us to have people who were experts in different fields. So for everything about slavery and reconstruction um, to Jim Crow and then to work on sort of critical issues around housing and policing, but also pointing out, um, you know, these contributions that uh, Black Americans have made to this country and and how it has shaped discourse and knowledge. We saw this course as a first step in the larger transformation of our institution and becoming a more anti-racist institution, specifically trying to address anti-Black racism in particular. And so um, we know that it's not a panacea. We know that it's not um, going to um, People are not going to take this course and come out on the other end completely as new people, but we're hoping to just shift people's mindsets a bit, uh, to get them to think more broadly, to think, get them to think more critically, so that when you are an engineer, uh, for example, and um, you're having to design a particular product, are you thinking about the different communities that might be using this product and the ways in which their histories impact how they might interact with this? You know, my, my hope is that students will start to critically think about these issues and do and study and investigate a lot of these topics on their own. Um, I'm hoping that it leads to a much more equitable and democratic space where we think about what are some barriers to um, not only you know, access to employment and education and healthcare. Um, but I'm also hoping that, you know, and, and this is what makes me the most optimistic about the future, is that students to start to systematically think about how do we solve and address these issues, um, not only in their daily lives, but at, you know, 
at the institution and some of you know wider communities from which they come from.